A quick disclaimer before we begin, this modification does uh, permanently damage the mesh on the top of the mic somewhat. It shouldn't actually inhibit the function of the mic, but it is worth noting before we continue. To begin with this assembly, just take off all the external components. So unscrew the ring at the bottom, although that's not strictly necessary. Um, take out the light well slash LED indicator, you can just pry that out with your fingers. Take the volume knob out, again this can just be pulled out, it shouldn't come out too difficultly. The next bit is slightly more tricky, it involves uh, unscrewing the cover around the audio jack. I found that to achieve this you could just use a pair of tweezers. Finally, take off the metal ring around the top and slide out the foam insert. So before we continue, I just would like to explain why we have to take the mesh off and why this microphone is so annoying to disassemble. So the internals of the microphone are held on by two clips, located here and here. These clips keep the internals in place while not rigidly mounting them, which helps in um, vibration dampening. These clips can be pushed in and the internals can be removed. However, because of the design of the casing, uh, it's difficult to get a screwdriver in to push the clips in. Because of this, I worked out that you had to remove the mesh in order to easily remove the internal components. From here, all that's left to do is slide out the internal components. To achieve this, I grabbed a small screwdriver and used it to undo the latches that held the components in place. This allowed the main board and microphone setup to simply slide out of the casing. So while I reassembled the mic, I'll just talk about what I found from doing this. So the problem that I was getting was that I couldn't record anything with it. So I opened it up and found the broken wire. After reconnecting the wire, however, I was still getting the same errors that I got originally when I plugged it into the computer. However, I know that I did actually fix something because the live monitoring now works, which didn't before. So before I end the video, I'd just like to ask if anybody does know a fix to the errors that I was getting, um, and could let me know, that'd be great, because it would be nice to be able to use more than just the 3.5mm jack on this mic. Thanks for watching.